Wow, man, you're gonna make me blush. Guess I could look for something like these then. Bro, it's, we don't have to like hug or anything or kiss, but you, a little bro fist maybe? Charmed to see everyone. Welcome back to Star Player One. I'm Brand Knight. Today we're continuing off with Shine Residence Refrain. The last time we left off, Marion has joined our harem officially. And I am quite stoked about that. But, we gotta go and talk to our other party members too. We can't just talk to Marion nonstop. So oh, let's see yeah. if Sonia wants to go on a date. <laughs> oh, you might get it, but you're embarrassing me. Oh my god, it's going, it's happening. Mr. Branite, what about the main story of the game? You know, the Empire enslaving, hurting people. Oh? What? Welcome back. <laughs> yes, yes, whatever. I'm... Get some rest. Yeah, <laughs> not sure there's going to be a whole lot of resting going on tonight. Wink, wink. What has this game become? <laughs> it, used to, it was supposed to be an RPG, but now it's becoming a dating simulator. Good evening. Hey Yuma, I want to talk for a bit. Do you have some time? Of course. I'm the one who invited you. Evening, Sonia. Sure, I can talk. You give off the impression of a knight more than a royal. Did you have a? Did you have any lessons as a princess? Just the fundamental stuff. Enough that I wouldn't embarrass the kingdom. What's it like to be educated as a princess? I can't even imagine. Mm. Uh, it's all basic stuff, etiquette, how to talk, how to eat, and dancing, if you can believe that. Dancing? Maybe we could dance together sometime. That's what you say, Yuma. Teach me some moves. I'm, I'm, I'm new at I'm new to this whole dance thing. You know those big galas at the castle? I'm kind of obligated to go and socialize and dance with the guests. It all sounds so fancy. I hope I get to dance with you someday, Sonya. There you go, Yuma. That's what you say. Huh? You want to... Um, okay. I mean, it's not every day I get a chance to dance with a princess. <laughs> That's a little dramatic. Still, if you want to dance on time, I'll be happy to. Well, I should get to bed. Night. I'm okay, going to night. Bed. <laughs> that was kind of a rough way to end the day. No one even blushed, really. Oh, well. George Zalbard. <laughs> yes, I did. No, I, was, I actually did sleep, darn it. Alright, let's go talk to Ki Kirika. Then Marion, then Agnum, and then we'll continue on with the story, which I don't know what's happening, actually. Did you need something? Hey. With the war intensifying, it's quite reassuring to have another Dragoneer among us. Yes, it is. You want to go on a date? <laughs> Yes, I understand. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I hope you're ready, audience. My this my. is what this episode is going to be. Who knows, though? That one thing with Sonya was pretty quick. That was like less than a minute of us just talking, so... It might only be like three minutes of talking and the rest of it is us going out and exploring the world again. I gotta apologize to my throat. I have a little bit of a cold, so... My voice acting may not be up to par, like it usually is. <laughs> What's up, Kirika? Mind if we talk for Did a bit? You need something? By all means. Huh, Kirika? Did you notice what's next to you? Oh, this cat? I saw it a little while ways back, and it started following me. We've been walking around together for some time. <laughs> you suppose he has an owner? He is quite friendly. Would you like to pet him? Um, don't mind if I do. Huh, he really is friendly. Yes, I think he likes us. Maybe we'll see him again sometime. I'll remember to bring some food for him next time then. Um, I would like to propose something. Uh-oh, Kirika, don't do it. You're number two. You'll always be number two, girl. You can't be number one. I'm sorry. That position is filled! What is it? Would you care to walk around town with me sometime? I do enjoy talking with you like this, but I think it might also be nice to look at some of the shops together. Make plans for her? Yeah, why not? Right, and we won't have to keep an eye on and we won't have to keep an eye on the time before we go during the day. That sounds Thank nice. You very much. Thank you. Next time we're in town together, just let me know. Now I should be going for the night. Please excuse me. I'll be looking forward to it. Night, See Kirika. You tomorrow. Yep. 
literally, I will see you tomorrow. Like, I, I have stuff I'm supposed to be doing, but <laughs> they're all kind of on the back burner, so. Beatrice Irma. I don't really care for her as much. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. You know the deal, Emma. Don't stop playing core. You know exactly what I'm doing. But let's go on our day, Kirika. Did you need something? Uh, um. Are you busy right now, Yuma? Huh? No, I'm free. What's up? If you recall our promise, right? We said we'd go down to town together. Well, now seems like a good time. Should I'll we go? Pray for your success. Well, we're both going, so you don't have to pray for just my success. Thank you. I hope we both enjoy ourselves. Okay, let me go pick up this carrot, I think. Yes! Yeah. Yes, it's a carrot. What do you want to do? Because we have a lot of date spots we actually go to. But there's there has to be somewhere specific that you want to go to. I guess we, we'll start right here. Usually they give you some type of hint. Like, hey, I'm hungry. Or like, hey, let's go here. Boy, did you see that, Kirka? A really big fish just jumped out of the water. Truly, I missed it. Oh, oh, there it is again. What? Where? Oh, it's gone now. It jumps up so high this time, too. You know, this is starting to feel deliberate. I'm serious. It was as big as my, my arm. And it jumped really high. You have to believe me. That was boring. That was kind of lame, Yuma. Uh, um. Oh, uh, Yuma, where shall we go? Uh, where do you want to go? Y you tell me. And I will take you there. You want to go to the other side of the world? We'll go. And I Sprint. 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 Oh, wait. wait. I'm going to go this way. I haven't really gone to the north side of the um, town. And there's stuff up here in the upside town. Okay, well that helps slim things down a little bit. <laughs> Starting dragon. I wonder if the dragon gives us any advice. Cause he or does he something like he was just a naive little boy who doesn't know anything? Probably. Um. Oh! 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 I'm so stupid. She did give us a hint. We were talking to her. She said she wanted to go see all the shops together. Remember? That's the trick. You gotta listen to what they're saying. Because they don't tell you what they want, even if it's cryptic coded. There we go. Okay, here we go. Watch, watch it happen. Ripe fruit even smells differently. Here, smell the sweet aroma. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. I want to do the event. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I get it, Kirika. I picked up your signals. That looks so fresh and tasty. I wonder if Emma buys from here, too. <gasps> Those are... Um, perhaps we should continue on. You want to move on, but we just got here. Um... Yes, but I, I spotted something far more interesting over there. Let us be off. Wait, Kirika, calm down. What do you have against this place? Is it because it has carrots? Oh, <laughs> carrots, of course. Yeah, we nailed it. Hey, uh, everyone has something they're not afraid. They don't do like. Think? It's fine. I'm not gonna judge you too harshly. Look at this guy right here. That's like really the only like store vendor places I know of. Excuse me, two black teas, please. Oh, I was gonna order something else. Eva, what? No, just just go with it. I'm so sorry. Pardon me, sir. A correction. Well, black tea might not be so bad, and I wouldn't mind drinking the same thing as you, Kirika. I see. Thank you. You could have just said that. You could have just. You didn't have to say anything, Yuma. You kind of made her feel a little bad. I know I'm being harsh on him, audience. It's because I want him to do better. Because he can do better. He has potential. Weather. It seems we picked the perfect day for an outing. Oh yeah. I, okay. We did this You're right. right. Maybe the weather took a cue from your sunny outlook. Oh, that was smooth. I'm glad if it's brightened your day, but hmm? over there. What? Huh? Kirika, where are you going? <laughs> Mommy! Mommy! 
Uh-oh, what's what going on? Lost your mom? Are you lost? I can help you. Oh. Uh, if you do not talk to me, I'm afraid I can't do much. Why'd you just run off like that, Kirika? Huh? Oh, we weren't there. Who's she? I think she's lost, but she won't talk to me. What should we do? Hey there, what's wrong? Where's your mom and dad? I wanted to help mommy, so I came to do shopping by myself, but I got lost. Aww. Aww, that was really sweet oh. of you. Don't worry, we'll help you get back home. Yeah. Really? Thank you, mister. Oh, don't worry about it. What? Kyrga, you okay? Oh, okay. That move right there should impress. Should, that should impress Kira. It was Kyrka. a relief to see her back in her mother's arms, but however did you get her to open up to you? I just talked gently. It was just. I was just true to myself. Maybe it's because I got down to her level. Her level. Yeah, you know, got on the knee, saw her eye to eye. It wasn't like I wasn't looking down on her. It's scary to talk to someone who's way taller than you, right? I remember feeling like that when I was little. So I crouched down to match her eye level. I think that made her feel more comfortable. How terribly unfair. What? Huh? I'd only just thought of trying that. I know how to get people to open up. See? Whoa, Kirika. Your face is a oh. little close. Closeness is a vital part of getting to know someone. Surely that's common sense. I, yeah, but maybe I not see. this close. So, does that mean you want to get to know me better, Kirika? Uh, oh, she's blushing! Well, why ask that when you know the answer already? What about you, Yuma? Oh, Yuma, there's only one right answer here, my man. Anything else is going to fail you. Of course I want to get to know you better. I hope we can learn to be closer. There you go. He said it. Huma. <laughs> Didn't have to give me a dialogue choice. That, that's not something you say directly to someone's face. We're going home now. Oh. And make sure you remain at my side, Yuma. I cannot have you getting lost. Oh. Sure, I got it. Let's go home. Oh, I mean, if you really wanted to, like, be an all-star player, you could try to hold her hand as you took her back home, but... You know, one step at a time, you know, you didn't... Kiri doesn't like to lose. Did you Who does, something? honestly? No, I'm good. Alright, that's two Oh, we gotta talk to Marion too. Then we gotta invite Marion on a date. But first, I got a bro date set up. We are gonna hang out with Agnum. He may not be part of the party anymore, but a bro's a bro. I'm gonna turn my back on him. What about Rena? <laughs> I don't care about Rena or Fromage. Hey, Agnum. Yo. So, new Dragon, you're awake and join our ranks, huh? Time to go on a win streak. You wanna go hang out? Yo. Sure. Yay, bro date. I just remember what we're supposed to do in the story wise. <laughs> Agnum wanted to take um, Marion out and see, show her the ropes, have her, you know, f do a couple uh, battles out in the wild. So she get used to being a Dragoneer. <laughs> That's what we're supposed to be doing. So, once we go and hang out with Agnum, we'll go hang out with Marion and then we'll go. Oh, I gotta go talk to... I've done it so many times now. You think it would be natural. It's like nature. Get some rest. I'll try. It's, uh, it's, I'm gonna be hanging with my bro, so most likely we're gonna be partying all night. If I know him! And I do. You're up. Hey, Yuma, you want to hang out and talk for a little? Sure. Sounds good. My man. Say, Yuma, do you have a favorite color? Oh, where's this coming from? Well, I was wondering what I was thinking of getting some new gloves, but I don't know what color to get. Okay, I think I'm going to get this one right, because Agnum is actually wearing my personal favorite colors choice, or scheme, I should say. Red and black. Love those colors. So, 
Give me an option red and black, come on. I want to get a second opinion. What do you think would look good? Oh man, it's gotta be black. Yeah, it's gotta be black. And he loves it because he's a bro. Black, huh? And the same design as the ones you're wearing now. I think those look good on best on you. Oh yeah? Do these really look good on me? Yeah, they do. So now they just capture your fashion sense perfectly. It's 100% you. Thanks, man. Wow, man. You're going to make me blush. Guess I could look for something like these then. Bro, it's, we don't have to like hug or anything or kiss, but you a little bro fist maybe? Yeah. That's what happened. You guys can see it. That's just kind of off screen. Thanks for today. Talking Yuma, that ought to help when I'm checking out the market. No problem, you can talk to me about stuff anytime. I might take you up on that. Right now, I gotta, I gotta crash. See you later, Yuma. Yeah, I'm pretty tired of myself. See Night. Yeah, bye, item. That was fun. Alright, three down, one more to go. We're on our way to go see Marion. Our girl number three. What if Exella enters this? Whatever I have. Was that new armor on her? And I didn't see it? <laughs> I thought Sunny had different armor on that loading screen. But maybe that's just my imagination. But what was I saying? Oh, harem. If Vizella joins, I don't know what rank she's going to be amongst the girls. Mr. Brandon, are you ranking the girls? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Alright. And there's Romo, I could talk to him, but why would I? Hey, Marion! Yuma? Let's talk. Marion? Audience? Ha <laughs> ha! You okay, Marion? You're taking deep breaths. The air outside is really refreshing. When I take a breath, it feels like my head is clear. It's nothing like Gelritz. Oh, Gelritz prison. Yeah, everything there was horrible. Not just the air, everything we saw, everything we ate, everything we heard. And worst of all... Don't, don't audience, don't, flashback time. Now I assure you, this will utterly, be utterly, totally painless. Oh, <laughs> but protections are never perfect. Simply raise your hand if it hurts, yes? And then he's laughing like a maniac. Oh, did that hurt? But you didn't raise your hand, did you? Surely I won't know unless you raise your hand. Is our hand strapped to the table? I told you to raise your hand if it hurts, but you won't do it as you're told. You only have yourself to blame for this pain. Alright, the restraints. I suppose you simply can't raise your hand. And I'll never know how much that, this hurts. All you can do is give up. Yeah, Joe Keen was kind of a jerk. Good, yes, yeah, such exquisite screams. You have such a lovely voice. You, yes. Just an aching, beautiful scream, and yet you refuse to break. Oh, you are quite a fine subject. One of my favorites. The others all die far too easily. They were just so fragile, so short-lived. Now scream for me. Let me hear your howl. Joakim, what he did was unforgivable. Yeah, Ed and I, he put us both for some awful things. I don't want anyone to go through that again. I don't want anyone to go through that. That's why Marion... Yeah, we have to protect everyone. If I can't, that's gonna be sad, so I'm gonna do my best, Yuma. No. We'll do our best together. That's what you said, said Yuma. That would've been smooth as hell. Okay, you wanna go on a date? Mm. What? I don't know what you're asking. Oh, she doesn't wanna go on a date! Oh! Yuma, Yuma, he's heartbroken! Rejection! He never thought it would happen, but there it is. Oh well, live and let learn. Okay, let's see where we're. I know what we have to do, but where are we going? Less than Sarah Alma. That's Kierka's older bro. Alright. Um, I have a little thing where I can see my quest. Oh, I just clicked on it earlier. Alright, the group has decided to test Marion's barium. That's her um, harmonic that she has now. On a rogue dragon, head to Gla Glacius Falls. Alright, I know where that is, so let's get going, audience! That wasn't too much talking. Yeah, excuse me, you tell me every time I walk by. We got time. We got, we got, we got nothing but time. Ooh. 
Okay, okay, I want to battle real quick. They have 31. Marion tutorial. Yep, tell me. Marion's dragon here who uses a barmonium. She is capable of dealing devastating range attacks. Her break attack makes her launch a special bomb that packs the area on combat. Exterminate enemies at once using the wide range of attacks. What am I? <laughs> oh no, I'm poison! Poison running through my veins, I'm poison! What? Okay, that's kind of weird. Because I heard her music play now. Because it used to be with Kirika and Agnem, when we played music, like when you win a battle, that's another request down. Did you say so? When we would win a battle, you would hear the electric guitar and her little flute playing along. But now we got her Barmonium also in the mix. And I don't know how I feel about that. What oh, level am I of curiosity? 28? Oof. Oh, these guys are like level 30. Not liking that. Oh, okay, you're 22. Enemy approaching. Come at me. I'll help you. Come at me, bro. Okay, girl, stop supporting me. Yeah, that's <laughs> all. Uh, it's just funny now because I got the whole my bond set up so like basically all these girls are in love with Yuma and they're all competing to get Yuma's attention. So when they go to support, he, like support Yuma, like oh his health's down, or oh no he needs help. They help me, but it's jealousy support. So I get like poison, I get ailments inflicted on me. <laughs> playing a playing with rolling the dice here, aren't we? Slide. All right. Target confirmed. I, yeah, Marion, let's not go on a blood rampage. Let, let's just start poisoning right here eventually. Here they come. We'll hire a crawler, why not? I don't know how close we are to the end of this game. I don't feel like we're getting- we're making decent progress. I feel like we almost got all the party members, so... there's that. And they have one dragon soul and we got one. Well, actually, three of the dragon souls were found when I think about it. So there's only like two more left, I think, so then probably be the final boss if I had to make a guess. Okay, um where the hell Get am ready. I going? Here they come. that way? Oh, an audience, you're gonna laugh. And the last like two episodes ago, when we were going to rescue Marion, I was panicking trying to find out how to use Kirka's force ability to heal. So I'm like, I know she can do it. I've seen it. I've done it before the very start of the game. And I could not remember. I even scrolled over it. You just have to go down to where it says heal and press Y. Heal. There we go. I could have done that right there before that big boss fight, but I didn't. But it's fine. We beat him anyway. We beat Hyokin. We rescued Marion. And now we know. So, just letting you guys know that... I, I did catch on to it eventually. Yeah, save. Because I got a feeling there's a boss fight right up ahead. Okay, let's do it. I'm a little poisoned, but that's fine. A little poison never hurt anyone. Immediately. <laughs> Give some time, though. We'll see what damage that does to me. <laughs> okay. Oh, there! Let's get the sucker! Okay, I did Transition into combat mode. Everyone be careful, don't let your guard down. Ah. Going against Grendo. Okay, get away. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm being poised! Oh, move. <laughs> stop it! Lady, stop supporting me! You're hurting me! I know what jelly support poisons me, but I wonder what jealousy attack does and all that. Yeah, go! Yeah, I'll break it down! Mother Nature! 
This may not be the best bong combination we could have in the game, but by George do I love it. Okay, attack, attack, attack everyone! Okay, there we go. I think we we don't even really need to go shine dragon on this guy. He seems to be a little bit stuck. And there we go. There we go, audience! No music, no dragon, just the power of friendship and the harem. The Yuma harem. The Shining Harem! That's what I'm gonna call it now! Okay, that's that's the name now. That's the shipping name. The Shining Harem. Oh my god. How, how this game has cha it's changed in me. It's taking me into something darker. How was I, Yuma? Do you think I'll be useful on, to the team? Marion, you're gonna be incredible with a team. You'll be fine. I'm glad to have someone as reliable as you. Damn right, Skippy. Marion, I personally guarantee you got you got the stuff. You got it. Item's always a sucker for anything that explodes. Fire magic, fireworks, now this. So that's why he wanted to see her in action. I'm glad Mary can use her harmonic properly. Looks like you're ready to take on the Empire. Okay, thanks everyone. And shall we return to Marga? I can feel the power. Why not? <laughs> oh, and I leveled up. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Yeah. Let's return to Morga. I got a stone, so I'm just going to use it. Wait, you know what? No. I think I'm going to end the episode here, right now. And then also go and fight the enemies on my way back to the capital, because we're not that far off. So that way I'll get some le levels, hopefully, for Kirika and the rest of the girls. So we're a little bit stronger. And you guys don't have to see all the, the fighting going on, because this will be a little bit of a grind session. So if you guys were, would use your barmonium and let's shoot that subscribe button right down below. Leave a like or comment. And as always, I'll see all of you in the next Star Player 1 episode. Bye!